Hello, this is Hector, a team member with Rooted. On June 22, 2020, Apple announced that Mac computers will be transitioning to Apple Silicon. And today we have models of Mac with this new technology. These include the MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, Mac Mini, and the new iMac. But as with everything that's new in the technology landscape, you may be asking yourself, what is Apple Silicon? Apple Silicon is an umbrella term that refers to the new system architecture that the latest Mac computers will use. This includes Apple's system on chip architecture and framework such as Metal and Accelerate. A system on a chip or SOC is a circuit that integrates an entire set of components that together can perform a variety of functions in a way that is faster and more efficient than working separately. But this is not new in the Apple ecosystem. For years, devices like the HomePod, Apple TV, iPad, and iPhone have used a system on a chip technology in the form of the A series. What is new now is that this technology has come to the Mac. And packing all of these features on Mac computers is the N1. This is Apple's first design shipped for Mac. There are several benefits of the M1. It integrates different components such as CPU, GPU, and I.O. It is optimized for Mac, starting with macOS Big Sur. Uses the same architecture as iOS devices has on-device machine learning that allows for voice recognition and the best video and image processing technology, has the best performance per watt ratio with high performance and high efficiency cores, Battery Live is the best in portable computers ever, and it is up to three times faster in several business applications, including video and graphics. What about the transition to this new architecture? Well, it is not the first time. Back in 2006, Mac computers were transitioned from the PowerPC processor to Intel processors. It elevated the performance and user experience we have enjoyed for the past 15 years. This new transition that started in 2020 is now from Intel processors to the new Apple Silicon, and it is estimated to take about two years. So the question is, what about my applications? Are they compatible? The simple answer is yes. There are a couple of technologies that allows for this. Apple is providing developers with tools so that their applications can be compatible with both Intel and Apple Silicon architectures. These apps are known as universal, meaning that they work on both Intel-based and M1 Mac computers. But what about applications that are not yet universal? Introducing Rosetta 2. With Rosetta installed, applications that are Intel-based only are automatically translated to work with the Apple Silicon architecture. This is totally transparent to the user, making the transition to an M1 Mac computer as simple as possible. Also, since Apple Silicon uses the same architecture as iOS devices, N1 Mac computers can run your iPhone or iPad apps natively on macOS. No porting is needed. And as easy as that, bringing millions of applications to macOS. Developers can take advantage of tools to optimize their apps for all three platforms, iOS, iPadOS, and now macOS. M1, the first Apple-designed computer chip for Mac brings a whole new level of computing and performance. It is a huge leap in technology that is beneficial for your business. If you are considering M1 Mac computers and have more questions about how they can benefit your business, we are ready to help you today. To get started, submit a ticket at support.rootedconsulting.org, schedule an appointment with us, and let's get connected for streamlined and smooth support.